Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So right now, right, I'm in Star Hill and I'm like in the basement because Star Hill, like the shop dining, they actually invited me, which I'm so happy because they reached out to me saying, you know, they want to invite me to their dinner and I thought it would be nice to bring you guys with me because I heard it's gonna have like a lot, a lot of food and there's gonna be like people singing, like, like, you know, like bars and stuff like that. So let's go. The shop opens around six o'clock and right now I'm early, like 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna walk around here first and then I'll head in at 6 and I'll bring you guys there. Guys, I'm in Shook now and it's actually not that crowded yet. Like it's 6 o'clock so I think like people haven't started coming in yet but it's actually like, it, the feel is so nice. I'm so excited and it's been like the longest time since I have like a buffet. So yeah. I'm at the Japanese station and let's see what they have. Oh my god guys, look at this. It's my favorite sashimi and they actually have so much. Like they also have like octopus and this one I think is tuna, right? And then they have like all the sushis here and there's actually so much food. I'm so like, this is only one section and then there's like beef pastrami, pastrami and like the smoked salmon and then there's also like a cheese counter. And what is this? This is smoked chicken. There's actually so much. Oh my god. I came across this guy like doing freshly made pizza and oh my god, I'm definitely gonna order this later. This is like a secret section but look what there is. There's actually a roasted marinated leg of lamb and then there's vegetables and then i think there's sausages too you can order later and then like oh my god i'm just like so like wow there's so much stuff here and there's even a roasted chicken and vegetables obviously in every like buffet there will be like a salad station which i don't really go for but okay i'll show you guys so there's this long beans there's a corn and also this i'm not sure what is this and look at this, this is actually the Asian food corner. There is fish curry, there is like lalas, and then like there's chicken, and then there's so many things actually. Look at this. There is lamb and prawns. Here right, you can actually custom make your own pasta and tell them what sauce you want with what condiments. And this is the pasta station. We have Mongolian and Pad Thai noodle. Look at this, they're actually doing it right now. And then this is actually the pad thai. They will fry it up for you here and they put bread them in an egg if you want. It's so nice guys. I love pad thais. And then this is the karaage, like fish and also the chicken. So I think there's one more here but it's not out yet which is the vegetable tempura. And look at this. I didn't even see this just now when I walked past it but it's actually a ramen station and they already do the noodles. So when you want, they just like cook it for you again and put the soup inside. Okay, there's this drink section where it's like pink guava juice, apple juice, and then orange juice, and also ice water. It's quite basic for the drink section. If you guys know me, right, this is my favorite section, and it's definitely the dessert section. Look how pretty is this. They have like the whole tiramisu, and you can take it by yourself. And then there's fruits, there's chocolate cakes, more fruit, and then there's pecan pie, meringue tart, and little, little cute desserts. Ta da, guys! Look, this is my first round, and of course, this has to be my first round. I love sashimis and look at the variation. There's like tuna, sashimi, and then there's this squid and then right there's actually salmon belly as well which I did not see earlier so I can't wait to dig into this. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me well because there's like background music but let me try my first day which is like all the Japanese stuff and there's gonna be like some people walking behind me but then that can be helped so yeah let me try this salmon first. I'm so excited! Okay, here goes nothing. Mm. It's so fresh. I love it. Oh my god. Wait, another one. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so super good. Wait, I need to have another one. Mm. The fish is so soft and fresh. Like, the moment it goes into your mouth, you know that it's like super fresh already. Now, let me try the tuna. I think it's the tuna. It should be a tuna. Mm. It has a very soft and flaky texture. I love it. This is the squeeze. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I'm crying. It's so spicy. <gasps> oh, too much wasabi, guys. Mm. 
Okay guys, I'm not crying anymore, but let's try this smoked salmon. Yes, it's smoked salmon, not salmon belly. Salmon belly is the one with rice. So yeah. Mm. It really has that strong smoky taste. And it's really soft as well. Thumbs up. I normally don't like like smoked food, but this one is really like smoked nicely. Guys, now it's time for the salmon belly and look at the wasabi I put. I hope it's not too much, but let me try it in one bite. This salmon is so... It has like a very nice texture to it. It's not like your regular salmon. It melts in your mouth, guys. I cannot describe how much I'm loving this. I ate this like so many pieces already and I still love it because like it's so nice and it's like so soft and fresh like I don't feel that muak you know like gelat when I eat a lot of it it's still like very nice and light when I eat it mm. Now I'm gonna try this beef pastrami mm. It has a very strong taste of beef Not the biggest fan of it but it's very soft. It's not. It doesn't look very, very hard or dry at all. Mm. But it's still very nice. Tada! This is my second round. This is from the Japanese station. There is some tempura, and then there's this fish and a chicken, and also the sauce and lemon. And then I took this right from the Mongolia station, which I'm not sure what it, it is. But this is like some squid and prawns, and then there's chickens, beef, and also vegetable, which I'm quite excited to try because. I've never tried like this before. Let me first try these sweets. It has this very sweet, tangy, flavorful. Mmm. Prawns! Mmm. The prawns are very fresh. And I think this is chicken because I don't know, they didn't have like a description there, so I'm not sure. I just took it. Mmm. It's chicken, it's actually really soft. Mm. And now time for the beef. Mm. It has a very nice flavor that bursts in your mouth when you chew on it. Mm. This one's nice. And lastly, I just took vegetables because they have vegetables there and I wanted to try out everything. It's like regular tapanyaki vegetables, so yeah. Now it's time for my Japanese food and I love brinjal so I hope this like tempura brinjal is good. Mm. The batter is so light. And I customized my own sauce so it's like lemony. And I think this is a sweet potato tempura. It's really very sweet. Mm. And this is like the Japanese fried fish. Fried chicken. I love fried chicken guys. Especially like every fried chicken I love it. Mm. This is very juicy. Mm. This is like my fourth round and I think this is the western bowl. There is chicken, roasted chicken, fish, like beef lamb like zucchinis carrots and also this seafood all gratin let me try the very simple one which is the seafood all gratin mm. mussels clams i think some salmons mm. very strong let me try their fish this fish looks really good so it tastes really like like, even though it's white sauce, right, I thought it would be like very heavy, but it actually tastes really light. And this is the roasted chicken, and then I actually drizzled some rosemary sauce on top of it, so I hope it's yummy. Mm. It's so soft and juicy. You know, right, some chickens, if they are done like too cooked, they are like a bit hard and dry, but this one, right, is so juicy and soft. And the sauce is really nice too. It's like a light rosemary sauce, not the very heavy type. It's actually nice. I didn't expect this to be like nice, you know, because it's just chicken. We have chicken every day. Mm. This is the roasted leg of 
lamb and I hardly eat lamb but let me try it it has a slight taste of lamb not very heavy very fragrant the moment you bite into it you can definitely taste it already all right let me try the uh, beef right now this is the beef with rosemary sauce This is really soft. I like how all their food is so nice. Like everything is so soft. Nothing is like overcooked. Everything is done well. Perfect. Okay, being like a vegetable lover, I definitely need to take this zucchini and the yellow zucchini. I don't know what it's called, but because I don't have it often, so let's eat it. Mmm. It has like a very but fibrous kind of flavor. I don't know how it is. It's a very grassy flavor. I like it. Look at this. This is actually my fifth round. Can you believe it? This is my fifth round. And ta -da, there's fish curry, there's broccoli, there's masala prawns, and also this um, calamari. And this looks really good with this sauce. So I can't wait to try it. Let me eat my fifth round of food, which is like the Asian food. It's all like curry and like spiced food so this is the masala prawns and I love a good masala <laughs> mm, it's so nice this will be perfect if it's fed with like naan or roti chanai it will be so good and next up is this curry fish there's fish and also ladies finger not too spicy it's perfectly spicy you get what I mean but not too overpowering I can't wait to try this calamari guys I love fried calamari and fried stuff honestly so a bit salty a bit sweet you know the sauce is really nice as well it's perfect to be paired with the calamari I know this is my sixth round but I'm super full but I know I would regret if I don't try the pizzas there are actually so many different types of pizzas here this is like the pepperoni and honestly I don't know what are all these like I forgot but it looks so good that I had to take all of them to try pizza time okay I'm gonna try the first one first I think this is like a pepperoni Crust, right? It's actually really thin, but the cheese they put is so thick, so it's really rich in flavor. Now, let me try the second pizza, which has mushrooms. I'm not sure what pizza it is. I kind of read it, but I forgot. But I think it's rigatoni or something. It has a very strong ham bacon taste to it. Not so much of a tomato base, but I think it's like more of a cheese base. The third pizza, I think it's like a seafood pizza. It's a fruity di mare, I think so. And I see there are a lot of prawns on it, so let me eat it. Mm, this is really good, guys. You can taste like the tomato base and the cheese as well. And the prawns. It's so fresh, the prawns. And now time for the last pizza. I'm not sure what this is again, but let me try it because I think this is like a tomato one. So yeah. Rocket salad. This is my carbonara and I can't believe I ordered a carbonara. They did it for me freshly and it looks so good. There's like prawns inside, ham and also like mushrooms inside. It's more pasta and I tried it just now. I actually love it. It's like so creamy. Mm. Look at the prawns. The taste is so good. Like it's creamy. I'm not a big fan of cheese, but this is like just nice, you know. Mm. I actually like this a lot, unexpectedly, you know. I can't believe it, but this is like my eighth round of like taking food, and I'm so full already. But this looks too good not to take because it's a pad thai, and you rarely see pad thais in like hotel buffets, so this is a must take. Ta -da! I mixed the 
eat Pad Thai and oh my god, it smells like original Pad Thai from Thailand and I'm so excited to try it! Even though like I'm so super full, right? I love Pad Thai. The taste is there. Look at the prawns! It's a little spicy. The noodles is not as chewy as noodles you can eat in Thailand. Look at this! This is the dessert and I took stuff that like I rarely can eat outside but you know kind of special dessert. This is like cheesecake, chocolate. I don't know what this is. I kind of forgot. This one too. This one they didn't write but this one is a blackout chocolate cake and I love dark chocolate. So I can't wait to try all of this even though I'm so super full right now. I'm not sure if you can hear me well because the music, background music is so loud. So I'm gonna talk a bit louder but this is the chocolate cake. Mm, it's really very dark. It's not sweet at all though. I like it. I like dark chocolate cakes because it's not that sweet. And I don't feel that guilty, so yeah. And the next one is this strawberry cheesecake. It's like sweet and sour. I love sweet and sour. It's so nice. I normally don't eat cheesecake because I'm not a cheese person. But this is really good. And now let me try this one. That looks like a pie. I think on top it has like meringue. Like you know that porch marshmallow. And inside it's yellow. Mm, this is a lemon meringue part. Oh my god, I love this. The lemon is like sour and sweet at the same time. It's really good. I love lemon tarts in general and this is really good. Mm. This white cake, which I'm not sure what cake is this, so... I think it's like vanilla cake, but I'm not too sure because the lemon taste is very very strong in my mouth. But I really love the lemon one though. And this is the last dessert I got. This is actually the blackout chocolate. So I guess it's a very dark chocolate cake. It's very cakey. Uh, a bit on the dry side. But the more you chew on it, the more chocolate comes out. And it's really dark. Okay, my favorite dessert has got to be the lemon tart. I love the lemon. I finished my dessert and honestly, I'm so so full. Like, I cannot describe how full I am right now because it's like mind blowingly full. But people keep coming in even though it's around like 8 30 right now. And I think there's gonna be a live band starting soon, but I'm not sure what time it starts because this buffet ends at 10 o'clock. But I'm gonna go home soon because I can't eat anymore. I've stuffed myself with too much food because everything here looks so delicious that I wanna try everything. So yeah, I really really recommend all of you guys to come to shoot because this um, this specific buffet dinner only opens at, on Friday night and Saturday night. On the rest of the days, they don't have this buffet dinner. So I really recommend you guys to come here to like you can you guys can celebrate like birthday dinners or like anniversaries. That would be really really nice because they cater for big tables as well and they cater for small tables as well. So you guys should definitely come here and I tell you, you will never regret because the food options is crazy 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 a lot and they have like the best freshest food ever. I'm personally like not the biggest eater but then just because coming here there's like so many delicious food, I cannot take it but to eat all of them and I'm so super full right now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll definitely bring you guys to new places to you know discover new places to eat and new flavors to try and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!